Hey hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today we are going to discuss about a beautiful third party library called Periphery and this we can integrate to find out the code which is not used in our project. Like many time when you write the code and sometimes we refactor and what happens that the, the previous functions we forget to delete and that keeps piling up and it might happen that after a year and so you will have more than 100 of functions which are not being used at all. Okay, so how we can easily get rid of that using this uh, library so if you see here uh, the installation process so we can install through homebrew uh, spm and cocoa pod so i will use this homebrew because i don't want to put uh, extra burden on my project so the one way is that first thing is that you have to install homebrew so if it is installed the next thing you have to install this periphery using this command okay so if i run this so it's already installed uh, so it's telling me uh, that it's already there so if it's not there in your system it will install this particular uh, framework into your laptop okay now the next thing if you see here uh, if you come down what you have to do we have to run this command basically to figure out that what are the functions that are not being used okay so it will ask you a few things first thing is that which target do you want to run so if you see in my project i have uh, three target basically bhagavad gita test and the ui test so i just want to test my uh, bhagavad gita target so i'll choose one or you can choose all to select all target okay and uh, once you select a target then the next thing that it will ask is for the schema okay so if you see in our project we have three schema qa prod and dev so just let it to finish here i got this three option i'll choose dev because my code base is same whether i choose any of this target and then there are a few questions first thing is that assume objective c accessible declaration are in use so if you see the uh, definition declaration exposed to the objective c runtime explicitly with at the rate obg or implicitly by inheriting an subject will be assumed to be in use okay so if you have any objective c uh no apis let's say that in the swift we use at the rate objective c to make uh, swift classes available to objective c so it will assume that that are in use okay so i'll just select yes and then uh it's also telling you that assume all public declaration are in use so let's say that when, what if, when you are de developing a framework so obviously in your framework there will be some method which will be public that will be not called by your framework right that will be called by the project where it is going to be used so in such uh, cases you can have your public uh, declarations uh, just by default that it is being used somewhere okay i'll make this also as yes and then it will create a configuration file with this name with whatever the configuration that we have saved so let me just click yes okay and then it will run the command okay so it will take some time depending on the uh, size of your project so basically what it does it uh, builds your project uh, and then it will list on all the functions uh, that are not being used okay so just let uh, wait for some time so see it started uh, actually building this uh, Bhagavad Gita dev because that was the schema that we gave here yeah, so if you see um, it gave the list of all the functions that are not used in the code let's try to see that are we actually not using it so let me just take the example of this busy logger so it is uh, telling error warning all these are not in use so if you come to the busy logger class here so see we have defined this protocol which is implemented by our default implementation here and then we are calling uh, it through this concrete implementation right now if you see here we have error warning info debug verbose all this thing here but it is just not giving me uh, the info apart from info everything it is telling that it is unused that's because if you see in the code i'm just using this info thing so if i let's say that for example if i write here logger dot error and uh, let me just delete all this and let me print it error here okay and now if you run it one more time so this time it should print 
uh, or just remove the error from here okay now how does it going to help you like for example that uh, you are building it locally and then you are checking it right now it might happen that uh, when you introduce this uh, in your project you might have already like 50 100 or 200 or more than that function already unused like for example uh, in this small project where i have just four or five classes there only i have these many uh changes right and all these changes i have not introduced at this point of time i introduced it one month back when i was actually developing this uh, busy logger the same thing can happen in your project also right like when you implement this library then suddenly you will see a lot of uh, unused files at once and uh, it is not uh, you know like so handy to solve all those uh, at once because you are not sure that why it is there and why it is or which function you need to delete at that point of time so i found this one beautiful uh, uh, a script and that script what it will does uh, do basically that it will save all your uh, uh, whatever the output that you are seeing, seeing here it will save your output in a file okay and next time when you run this so uh, what it will basically does that it will again write into that file okay so let's say that right now I'm getting uh, these many uh, warnings so it will write into that file and next time when I run it again, it will again override those changes. So what will happen? Let's say that if this, if I am writing this in one file and that file is synced with my GitHub. So next time when I actually uh, modify that file, so whatever the new unused file or unused function that I'm going to introduce, that can easily be visible okay so uh, let's see in this uh, in the code action and see how uh, it can be actually done so first thing what i have to do is i have to introduce one uh, two file basically okay so let me copy these two file into my project and let me show you that file that i have one this periphery output file which is just the empty file where all these logs that is coming here will be written down actually in this file and then I have a script here so if you see this script uh, basically oh let me just bring down that script file yeah so here i'm doing the same thing i'm just uh, running this command periphery scan and then whatever the results that is coming that will be you now appended and finally written down into this periphery output file which is actually uh, here okay so let me just run down this script so let me uh, not this one uh this script okay i will paste uh, uh this script uh, github link actually from where i got it and then i'll also uh post this uh till now whatever the coding that we have done in this series i'll post uh that github link today okay so let me just run this command once or drag and drop this and then press enter okay so now you can see that uh, this has done with code analysis this is just the print statement that we have written start and this is done and then now let's see our output file now now you can see that all this output log that was coming here basically is here okay uh, and now if you see the last time when we added uh, into our view model uh, we added this error and now if you see this output file here this error uh, function is now not there that means now it is being used okay now look, what let's do that how it actually it's going to help uh, in your production that uh, you now someone is introducing a date code or not so for that let me do one thing let me uh, push this code into the github okay Now, let me bring my GitHub screen here. So now you see that uh, this has been pushed. So now compare and pull request. And if you see here, there are a lot of changes because I have not pushed from uh, many days. But let's see whether that file got introduced or not, uh, this uh, periphery output, okay? So if you see, this file is here. 
right let me just uh, merge this uh, file first uh, so let me go here in conversation and let's merge this pull request okay now this is merged now what the next thing that i'm going to do is okay so now let's come back to our code and let's check the branch here so we are in periphery integration so now let's switch to main let's check out main okay and now let's uh, pull the changes from the push uh, that we have just made uh, to changes so everything is pulled now okay and now let's create a new branch here so get checkout minus p uh, test very very okay so now we are into a new branch so let's go back to the code and uh, this time what i'm going to do i'm going to comment this particular line okay so the moment i comment this that means that now we are not going to call our uh, error right and uh, what we're going to do is that i'm going to run this uh, which branch our code again this okay so now what it will do it will run your script again and it will create or it will override the output in the periphery uh, output file okay so it has done the uh, analysis now what i will do i'll just uh, push my changes here so let me uh, add it okay and uh, let me have some message so okay let me write it again so git commit minus m test uh, and then git push so it will give you the correct code and let's push it again okay so now if i come back to here it is giving me um, again the option to raise a pull request and now if you see the changes you can see that it has introduced this uh, change that is that someone have introduced a code error which is now not being called from anywhere so once your file is set into your production code base like you know with let's say whatever the st in the beginning you have a number of uh, date code so later if someone let's say that if someone start calling it either that line will be removed from here or that line will be added and that's how you can easily track down uh, this particular uh, date code okay so this way how you can easily use this periphery um, library to you know, remove unwanted code from your project that you don't require okay so that's all for today's video hope uh, you have enjoyed this and if you have enjoyed this then do subscribe to the channel we have lots and lots more beautiful video coming down in the series thank you so much